Okay, welcome back everyone. We're here live in San Francisco for the Amazon Web Services Summit. This is theCUBE, SiliconANGLE's flagship program. We go out to the events and extract the signal from the noise. I'm John Furrier, the founder of SiliconANGLE. I'm joined with a special segment here from the guys who go out and make it happen uh, at Capgemini. Big consulting firm, been a huge history in IT and, and, and computing industry, rolling out solutions and helping customers. And our guests are George Steele and James Cosey from uh, Capgemini. Um, George, you're the North America SAP Initiatives Deal Manager Leader. Um, and uh, James, you're the Strategic Alliances, everybody, technology and the platform. So um, you got the knowledge of the domain of the, of the tech, and you got the customer problems over here. So I got to ask both of you, first question. Um, what is the biggest transformative thing that gets people on cloud? What is it that, what's the one lever, if there was one lever? Is it cost, is it economics, is it top line? Is it something else? What's the transformative single biggest element? You want to start or you want me to? Yeah, I can start. Um, so the biggest thing that we're seeing besides the cost is really the speed to agility, right? So we're talking about SAP or large, large ERP implementations that normally take um, months to implement that and to get the IT infrastructure ready for that. So we're really seeing more of um, fast forwarding in that or starting quicker project launches, project starts. So speed is you speed is what we're really seeing. Using agile, well, speed, agility. Yep. Okay. Yeah, and if I could just add on to that, literally we're able to take one of our path solutions, one of our industry solutions, do a demonstration with it, configured uniquely for our customers' requirements that they're trying to confirm in that demo with their master data. If they like it, if everything goes the way that they want it to, we can take that copy of that gold client, literally begin implementation, and we can gin that up in minutes, and I'll use the energy path example for, for this thing, mm -hmm. literally in minutes versus procuring hardware and rolling that out which could take weeks and weeks. Yeah, speed. so that's a speed game. Let's talk, about the, let's talk about what you guys do, and you guys have a core practice um, and, you're, and, you're, and all your competitors, similar DNA, going back to the old days, the mini computer right. days, or mainframes, you can go back further, some, some of them. Um, the cycles were long. So scope it out, roll it out. It was a gravy train, right? I mean, people made a lot of money in those days. Um, and the mid client server days. Yeah. And then, but, but now it's, you have shorter cycles, speed to value. Um, but cloud is disrupting the services and business and all this. Like, so like your businesses are disrupted because you have to adapt or die, right? So if you guys don't adapt as an organization helping your customers, um, you have to you you could be a victim of the disruption around this cloud. So the question is, George, we'll start with you. All right. What is this doing to your business value chains? I mean, how's it changing how you source customers and deliver value to them? Obviously the product mixes will change a bit. You know, James can comment on that, but like at the end of the day, your business models being disrupted. How are you guys responding? Well, I tell you, we, we I, I think it was back in like 2010 time frame, we came up with something called One Path. It's a One Path offering is what we're calling it. And it's where we take the SAP license and we bundle it with some of our services. And we're able to offer it as like a monthly payment, if you will, across a five or six year term. And so we're able to take the AWS element and, and bundle that right in, and it works great because of the OPEX nature of AWS. And, but you still and do the same thing with your customers. You talk to them about, and you hold their hand, and making sure everything's cool with them. Your adjunct to their resource base. We do. Same thing, right? Same we, model? We, we are literally taking the complexity out of SAP implementations, running SAP long term. I mean, that's definitely part of our, our go-to-market strategy. And what James, do you bring anything in-house? So you can, so the, now your business might change a little bit, maybe you don't buy servers, but in the old days, you'd have to have, be a domain expert on this yeah. stuff. So, James, how do you guys get the speed on the tech? And do you start up offering your own services to your customers? Are you building your own? Uh, you're now the supplier mm -hmm. of cloud. That's correct. So, we're, so we add on to what George was talking about earlier, about the, about the one-path solution. So not only are we adding um, the SAP development piece or the customization that's involved in that, but sort of that service wrapper around that where maybe traditional SIs didn't do that before in the past. So we're talking about doing the application management, doing the infrastructure management, managing all those pieces on the, in this case, in the cloud infrastructure in AWS. So it sort of takes out all that heavy lifting um, that the client needs to do managing on their own in-prem 
on-prem infrastructure, and if they decided to do it on AWS themselves, there still needs to be some management involved there as well. You still need System to manage. integrate is an old term. You're not just integrating anymore, you're actually delivering. Yes, so it's more of a full end-to-end -end solution than it is um, in the past where maybe it's just a short-term system integration and then an SI of a Capgemini will leave and then the client handles it on the yeah. road afterwards. Yeah, so that's pretty disruptive. Has that impacted your entire business? Are you guys seeing that more impact? How you guys execute and organize teams? You know, it really started out as almost a niche back in 2010, and last year was a breakthrough year for us, and we're expecting even bigger things for this year. So I, I think, I think we're just—it's like the tip of the iceberg is where we're at. So right it's now. early days still. You still see yeah. a lot more kind of change going on. Well, it, it actually is our default go-to-market, leveraging AWS at least here in the U.S. market as part of the OnePath offering. It's an every unit item, unless the client tells us otherwise. Let's talk about one path. Was this like yeah. a pioneering effort? Was it more? Was it more like you kind of pulled it out? Of, you know, had to answer a customer requirement, or was it more of just kind of fell in your lap? I mean, how did that come to come to be? And then, what has been the feedback of it? Yeah. So, in, in literally in 2009, a customer was basically helping us craft this solution, if you will, and so it, it literally has become our rallying cry all the way back to headquarters. And so people are literally walking the halls of Capgemini in France mm -hmm. talking about one path. And so, and if you look at SAP's history here in the US, they've been here since 1992. So what is one path? Share with the folks what one path is. So it's literally where we're taking the SAP license and we're bundling it with some of our services and we can put together cash flow models to where it can be paid monthly over a six year term. And we can take the complexity out of say an SAP solution with infrastructure from STAT, mm -hmm. from the templates and best practices we use in implementation, as well as application management. What is the biggest technology hurdle that most customers have in dealing with Amazon? Do you notice anything change in terms of yeah, like? Yeah, so, so around that it's more of the traditional governance models. Um, so traditionally they're used to running IT on-prem and they have governance models around that and certain processes around that. So it's really a, a paradigm shift um, to moving it towards the cloud. Um, things like security, compliance, um, the way their integrations work with on their on-prem system. That's some of the challenges that we're, that we're having with some of the existing enterprise customers that we have today. So are you seeing Kinesis being a big deal? You want to talk about one, George? Go ahead, go ahead. I'll let okay. you speak to Kinesis. Go ahead. Uh, not as familiar with that. Okay. <laughs> Just to add what, to what you were saying earlier though, if you look at SAP's product line, traditionally it's viewed as being the deepest, the broadest, and I'm really speaking of an on-premise, and so what we're doing is we're taking that same code line, that same on-premise code line, and we're bringing it to the cloud environment, and all the flexibility associated with that. Well guys, I really appreciate you coming on theCUBE. I want to get, you guys get the last word. And George, tell us what, you, what we're going to expect to see at SAP Sapphire this year from SAP. What's going on in the SAP ecosystem? Is HANA healthy? Is it being pivoted? Uh, there's all kinds of rumors circulating. Um, I mean, I love SAP Sapphire. It's always a great show. Um, but what are you expecting to see down there this year? Well, I, I can't hardly speak for SAP, but I think it's a safe bet that you they're speak gonna, for yourself. <laughs> they're going to talk a lot about HANA, right? It seems like every event, it's HANA, HANA, HANA. So I think they'll definitely be uh, targeting that. For us, I, I think we're, we're on to the next version of One Path, if you will. We're calling it One Path 2.0. And so expect from us more packaging of this solution and uh, helping SAP be easier to do business with. Guys, really appreciate you coming on the Cube. Cap Gemini, great firm. System integrator, no more. System operator, system provider, solution provider. The tech is now going to be rolled out, inspecting all kinds of new stuff. Like one path, I think it's just the tip of the iceberg. I think you're going to see more a la carte, push button, you know, just get stuff done in the cloud. So this is the Cube, this is what we do. We go out to the events and extract the signal from the noise. We'll be right back with our next guest. Thanks for having us.